everyone on replay or catch and live. I decided while well, we had a few minutes to go ahead and show you a great standing move that's great for core, which is abs and lower back, and also balance. You can come in just a little bit. And please hold your questions or comments uh, till the very end, because at the very end, I'm going to come and get the phone so that I can see your questions. So um, somebody had a question last time about is my move good for scoliosis and it was a move I did where you had to come down here and I put that one on catch and the answer was yes but I wasn't able to answer so I'll come at the very end and get all your questions so welcome everybody no matter where you're from or what manner you're viewing in and if you're on a phone of course or an iPad I'd love your hearts so today's standing move that's great for everything here and of course posture and balance Bend the knee, you always want to bend the knee. I've seen people do all kinds of things with locked knees, and what that does, it take it out of your muscles, puts stress on the joint, which you don't want. You want your muscles to take the work. So go ahead, let's say it's your right knee. Bend your right knee, put your left foot above your knee. See how it's already difficult to balance, right? I think I chose my hard leg. And you don't want the knee forward, you want it out like this, so you have a little bit of external rotation at the hip here. You can put your palms here for balance, or if you need more balance, put them out here. And I have some people who follow me that have things like MS or other issues. So can you hold on? Yes. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something. It still has value. It's still great. Then you lift up the spine, zip down the back, lower the shoulders. And then I'm going to show you from the side. So stay where you are. You sit back. And then what that looks like from the side is I sit back like this. So what you don't want to do is come here and then lean forward. As you see, all that does is kind of take me out of my abs. My abs are no longer working and it throws me off balance. So you basically shoot your hips, whoo, I should have done, shoot your hips back. Now if you want to challenge yourself even more, I'm going to move the hands. So I'll show you that on the other leg. So if you're doing it with me, switch over, bend the left knee, put the right foot above, open the knee, lift up, Zip down the back so the chest and shoulders stay open. Palms in front. Tighten your belt. I forgot to say tighten your belt. Then sit your hips back. And now to make it harder, take the hands. So when they're smaller, it's harder. When they're bigger, it's easier. But if you move them, it's even harder because it throws you off balance. And today I have shoes on. The one I showed you last week. I took my shoes off. This one, so I'll just tell you, if your toes curl up like this inside your shoes, uncurl them and splay them out like that to make it uh, even harder for your muscles. It will feel easier if you cheat, but that's cheating, of course. So you splay them out, make your muscles work a little harder. And as you saw with me struggling, it's a great move. So I'm going to come over here and flip it around to myself now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, you know orange is my favorite color. Hi, Tamara. You guys got a quick view of my, um, my son, my videographer for today. So before I send you off to do this great exercise, are there any questions? Tag Tribes. Yes, yeah, shout out to Tag Tribes. Thank you for joining me. Tag Tribes is a great, if, if you're watching and you don't know what I'm talking about, Tag Tribes is just a community of People with all kinds of uh, interesting things. Oh, I hope to see you too. You too. Thanks, Mary. Um, so tagtribes.media is where you can sign up and you get a free email once a week and free advice, free uh, community support. It's, it's, there's no charge. And we have a Facebook group. So that's what Tag Tribes is. Do I have any other questions? Yeah, tag, thank you. Thank you for typing that up. I appreciate that. That makes it easy. Cool. Yeah, Tamara, you should be in there. We all support each other. You get you get and give hearts and get and give great advice. So besides great fitness advice, which you're getting from me right now. So I'm going to do a travel scope later today. Oh, thank you. Can you do it barefoot? I actually prefer this move barefoot because then it's a lot harder to do that thing that I talk about curling up the toes. Or if you do it curling up your toes, then you'll see that you're doing it. Because uh, my students all the time, when I remind them, uh, they're wearing shoes because we're at a university, but um, then they all say, yeah, we were curling up, and you uncurl. 
So if you really want it harder, put your toes together like that. But to make it a little easier, I would say splay them. Great question. Barefoot is harder. Barefoot's harder. If you really want to make it super hard, you could go on sand at the beach or you could do it on an unstable surface such as one of those little inflatable pink discs, but that's really hard. Oh, very funny. Ha <laughs> ha, that's on your own. All right, bye. <laughs> um, any other legitimate fitness questions? Otherwise, I'll say goodbye until later today when I'll be out walking in beautiful Santa Barbara after I drop off my son for his football. Just your little joke, yes. Well, is the emphasis on little or joke? Because, okay, very funny. Thanks, Tamara. You have a great weekend, too. I'll see you all later.